Hi everyone. Welcome to this video on custom sorting in Sync Fusion Flutter Data Grid. You can perform custom sorting for each column by overriding the methods perform sorting and compare from data grid source class. The perform sorting method will be called when the sorting is applied to the column. Overriding this method gives complete control over sorting. You can handle the sorting completely in your own way. The compare method will compare two objects and return the sorting order based on the criteria. In this video, I will explain how to use the compare method to sort a column based on case insensitive. I am using the sample application that was created during my Flutter data grid sorting video. You can download this sample from the link provided in the description below, and you can also watch the data grid sorting video titled, Perform Sorting in Flutter Data Grid Widget, which I have shared in this YouTube card. Let me run this application in an Android emulator. You can see the data grid bound with data. Double tap on the name column, you can notice it sorts the rows in ascending order, double tap again, you can notice that the sorting is performed based on case sensitivity. Now, let me show you how to perform custom sorting for the name column based on the case insensitive by overriding the compare method of data grid source class. So, in the sorting data grid source class, override the compare method receiving two parameters of type nullable data grid row so that you can compare the required cell values. Also receive sort column details as a parameter which helps to get the column to be compared. Within the method, add an if condition. Check the sort column name is equal to the name column, since we are going to do a custom sort operation is on the name column. If the condition is true, then store the cell value in a string typed field. Use the data grid rows get cells method and call the first where or null method and create an inline function receiving a parameter. Check whether the elements column name equal the sort column name. If it contains a value, convert it as a string. This statement will get the name column's first row value. Do the same to get the second row's name column's value. If either value 1 equals null or value 2 equals null, return the value 0. If sort column's sort direction is ascending, then return the value, comparing the value 1 lower case value with value 2 lower case value. This statement will sort the values in ascending order. Else, return the value comparing the value 2 lower case value with value 1 lower case value. This statement will sort the values in descending order. Finally, return the super classes compare method. Now, save the file. Double tap on the name column header cell, it clears the sorting. Double tap again, you can notice that the values are sorted case insensitively. You can notice the first row value starts with the character A which is listed first due to our customization done in the compare method. Let's see how the same code works in a web browser. I'll stop the application, change the device name to Chrome, and run the application. Double click on the name column header cell, you can notice that the values are sorted case insensitively. Finally, let me show you how this works on the desktop. Change the device to Windows and run the application. Double click on the name column header cell, you can notice that the values are sorted case insensitively. That's it. You can download this working example from the GitHub link and documentation link in the video description below. You can also check whether you are eligible for our community license, which gives you a free license key to use our Flutter products. If you found this video useful, click the like button and subscribe to our channel to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching.